Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, I'm going to be telling you guys about 15 things you need to know about the Vapid Slam Truck before you end up buying it here in Grand Theft Auto Online. So, by far, probably the most interesting new vehicle that Rockstar has introduced in this update is the Slam Truck, which is going to be available on the Southern San Andreas Super Auto site for $1,310,000. Now, this new slam truck appears based primarily on a 1955 Ford C-Series truck that's equipped with a ramp-style flatbed on the back, which by far makes it one of the most unique vehicles in the game. It is also in the utilities class, which is pretty strange. We don't see a whole lot of that. And yeah, you guys can see there that it's basically a slam van, but it's got this ramp truck-style flatbed as the back which certainly makes it very interesting. And that's some of the things and quirks we're going to be talking about in this video today. So let's begin by the fact that you can actually bring this into the Los Santos Custom Shop. I was kind of surprised by that. And I was also surprised at how much customization it actually had. 18 options. I was expecting with a weird utility vehicle like this that we wouldn't see the same level of unique customization, but I was wrong. So the first unique option you can do is change out the bumper, and there's quite a few here that not only have an impact on whether it's chrome or not, but whether you actually have a license plate on the front, so you'll be able to play around with the front bumper options a bit. You have a handful of exhaust options too. By default, it comes out of the side of the car, and then any of the other non-stock ones, uh, they're going to come out of the top close towards where the cab is so you can play around with that you've got a lot of fun grill options as well mesh barred billet spacer chrome tooth grill lots of fun unique combinations that you can throw on there same with the hood lots of hood options on there as well dart arrow and then you can even add some vapid logos on the side if you want as well so play around with that to pick and choose whatever you want now by far the best part of this car is the liveries and there's actually 19 of them. How cool is that? So let's go over them right now pretty quickly. The first one is tapered black stripe, which is a black stripe that gets narrower as we get closer to the grill on the hood and the roof of the car. Now, a lot of these liveries will also have impacts on like the ramp bed up part on the back. So just pay close attention because there's a lot of little details Rockstar throws on here. Vapid Motor Company is the next one, which puts like this two-tone black with a thin red line uh, sort of on the roof and the hood. And then on the driver's side door, it says Vapid Motor Company. Diego's Garage is next with the Diego's Garage logo, auto repair, and car parts on those side compartments on the left and the right. Looks pretty good. White Pinstripe is up next. Pretty simple. It basically just takes all the curves of the vehicle and outlines them in this white pinstripe. So some of these are going to be pretty simple. Some of these are going to be a bit more complex. This is certainly one of the more simple ones. Glass Heroes is up next, which adds this like purple design on the hood and the roof. And it says all major models, cracks filled. And then it has all the logos of the in-game vehicle brands in there. That's actually pretty cool. And again, you guys can see that there's some stuff that Rockstar ends up doing on the ramp truck as well, like that crackheads thing. And then on the driver's side, it says, Glass Heroes Auto Repairs, We Feel Your Pain. That's pretty funny. After that, it is Al's Auto Stripes, which if you're a fan of the Miami Hurricanes, you might love these colors. You've got the green and the orange, and then Al's Auto Repair logo on the driver's side door. So that one's pretty simple, yet clean and good looking. After that, it is Estancia Stripes, which is a like yellow and black stripe design. You've also got a couple of different logos and sponsorships on there, like Auto Exotic, Fukuru, and Hawk and Little, which you'll find all about the vehicle. After that, it's Premier Stripes. Premier is like the uh, bright blue color, and you'll have a couple more sponsorships scattered about on there as well, like Aero, Fukuru, Thrift, Chapal, etc., and even some on the driver's side of the hood. So that is Premier Stripes. Stronzo 37, you better love yourself some green and red because you're getting a lot of it with this design. Uh, a couple of other sponsorships on there too, like Power Metal, Atomic, Globe Oil, 37 on the passenger side of the hood. So a lot of interesting and random things going on with this one. I cannot say it's my personal favorite. Maybe you guys will love it. Uh, Auto Exotic Stripes are next, adding these black stripes on the hood and roof. 
as well as putting Auto Exotic logo on the side of the doors and their slogan on the back, instant quote, same day repairs and service available. Pretty cool. That's the Auto Exotic one. Then it's the Benny's one. Benny's looks awesome. You've got Benny's Original Motor Works and the red and the blue. We sell new and used stock. Fun design right there. After that, it is Los Santos Stripes, which is basically the LS Customs, and it's purple and white. It says, like, tires, tune-ups, mufflers, shocks on those compartments on the back. I think this is the one that I end up going with here. You can create some pretty fun designs with, honestly, a lot of these in-game brands. But that's Los Santos Stripes. E. Cola 84 is next with the classic red and gray of the E. Cola. And they put some logos and some 84s on the side of the door. So, again, fun design, keeping it pretty simple. After that, it is Black Flames, which I can't say I really love. It's like the flames are separated and they're put sort of on each compartment. And then there's also White Flames as well, which is literally the exact same design. The flames just seem like separated to me and I'm kind of confused as to why. Would have been cool if they just took up like the entire cab. After that, though, it is Hustle Time which I'm not sure what it's hustle time is supposed to mean. I'm sure that's an Easter egg or a reference, but there is a ton of other uh, sponsorships on there as well. The bottom of the door sill on the back towards the ramp truck part. So a lot going on for it's hustle time. After that, it's Total Ride Motors, which has like a checkerboard theme and a red pattern. Very interesting design, I will say. I can't say that this is overall my favorite. But you've definitely got a lot going on here in terms of colors, sponsorships, and more. And the final one is Douche42, which is the Douche Beer logo. So this one is pretty simple with some random sponsorships scattered about and even their slogan written on the bottom of the bumper. So those are all your liveries right there. Pretty cool that there's actually 19 of these in total for this vehicle. Again, I ended up going with Los Santos Stripes, and I think I ended up creating a pretty fun design. Now, after that, you've got mirrors that you can do. You have the stock ones, but then you have three chrome ones, vertical, round, and overhang, so you can have some fun choosing between those. And then after that, it's on to our respray groups. You've got primary color, which is going to affect basically the entire top half of the cab, and then a lot of the trim on the vehicle, so whether that's above the uh, tire sill or whether that's on the actual back of the ramp part itself uh, you're going to be changing the color of what's going on there and your secondary color is going to affect the entire ramp part of the vehicle and then the bottom part of the cab so like the bumpers and stuff like that so play around with the colors you can actually come up with some really really fun designs uh, I ended up going with this like yellow for the primary and then like the white as the secondary because the other color in Los Santos Custom Shop's logo is yellow, so that's what I figured would work pretty well. Now, after you've got your colors done, you can only really change one other thing, and that is the visor on the actual car itself. So you can play around with that, have a little bit of fun, and uh, complete your car's look. Now, one other thing that I found interesting is even though this is a utility vehicle, you can change like any of the wheels to whatever you want. High-end, low-rider muscle, you can make it look ridiculous. I just ended up staying with the stock rims because I thought they ended up looking good. Now, once you get this outside of the Los Santos Custom Shop, obviously a couple of things people are going to be interested in. What happens when you decide to open up all the doors? Well, the hood opens up and obviously your passenger and driver's side door end up opening up, but nothing in the back ends up happening. And as I'm sure you guys were wondering, can you actually put vehicles on the back of this thing? The answer is yes, but not necessarily in the way that I'm sure you guys are looking for. So do vehicles have the ability to go on the back part of this ramp truck? They sure do, but the vehicle doesn't have any functions to lock them in place. So for example, in Grand Theft Auto Online, if you were to put, let's say, one of your vehicles or your friend vehicles on the back, would you be able to drive away with it? The answer is yes, but it's not tied down and is going to fall off. So Rockstar doesn't have any like hydraulic functions for this vehicle. There's no way to lock a vehicle in place using the actual ramp. It's basically just there for show. Now it can look great in photos because when you're standing still, you can obviously get some vehicles on there. But aside from that, there's no way to actually utilize the functionality of this truck, which is kind of a shame. So that's like the biggest bit of buyer beware here is 
you buy this vehicle, you need to know that you're not actually getting like a, a utility vehicle. You're just getting a big truck that might look great for photos and is fun because it's new and has you know, fun and exciting liveries and customization options. But I definitely wanted to make you guys aware of this because it is not cheap. I mean, it's $1.3 million. And the fact that its main function doesn't even work, it's something you might want to be made aware about. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today regarding the Vapid Slam Truck in Grand Theft Auto Online. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more on this vehicle in the comments down below. Are you going to be buying it? Are you going to be staying away from it? Will you be waiting until it goes on discount? Let me know what you're thinking in those comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Cayo Perico Heist and Festive Surprise 2020 videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified with new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.